So hi everyone, welcome back to data science in your pocket and this time we are demonstrating chat GPT's integration with Blender. Yes, the favorite graphic designing software and today we would be operating it using chat GPT. So how are we doing this using model context protocol? So I'm using two major repos here. One is MCP super assistant which helps you to integrate any MCP server in chat GPT and Blender MCP that helps you to connect Blender with AI. So before we jump on to how I did this, let's show an example. Let's see how it works. So on my right hand side, you can see that these are the Blender tools that are available that chat GPT would be having access to. Help me generate a 3D graphic complicated airplane in Blender. And as you can see, our fighter jet is ready. This is crazy as you can see when I zoomed in I was able to see everything it was able to indeed create a fighter jet for us within seconds as you saw. So now let's try out something else generate me a complicated car design which is never seen before in blender. Let me hit enter. So we have seen it is able to generate us a plane which is looking great as you can see on the screen. This time I have asked it to create a car design which I have never seen in my life. Let's see what whether it is able to create that too or not. So my blender screen is also visible to you. It is coding out everything in one shot while in case of Claude it was not it was coding out things in parts hence that is why you're not seeing the updates in real time but once it is done as you can see at the back still in the almost their lane once it would be able to end out you would be able to see the entire car design here and we have got a car also this is amazing as you can see this looks to be great I think chat GPT is killing it on Blender. Let me try out something else and then we will jump on to how I did this integration. Do remember to attach the instructions every time you are pinging it up. Let me generate a futuristic building and color it also. Don't leave it blank in Blender. The structure should be complicated. So we have generated a jet, we have generated a complicated car. This time we are trying to generate a futuristic building which is quite complicated as well. Let's see what it generates this time. The car looks amazing to be honest. It looks coming straight out of Batman movies. At the background you can see that all the codes are running. Chat GPT is working on Blender and giving us some insane results. Still under construction, we are getting some logs at the back. And as you can see, even chat GPT is working automatically. I'm not doing a single click here. As you can see, it is able to create a complicated building unfortunately it is not deleting the car present so the car has got stuck inside the building but still i will take this up this is quite interesting for me and still not the work is not done yet so i think at the background some codes are still running up final look says emission shader glass shader mix shader Add animated lights or camera fly throughout. Create more structures. 
so i think we won't be jumping more into this we have seen it is able to create some quite cool structures 3d graphics using blender and chat gpt now we will jump on to how i did this and what you should be doing to integrate this so already i have covered a video on how to integrate blender mcp i won't be repeating everything but just to give you a brief the video to follow is present in the comment section below so i am following blender mcp as you can see on my screen which helps you to connect ai be it cursor be it cloud with blender so here you can see that what are the prerequisites you need to install blend blender 3.0 which is a software python 3.10 and uv package all the commands are present on the github repo and you can watch my previous video to have detailed understanding in cloud setting as you can see it is mentioned cloud settings developer edit config you need to add this mcp server config that is blender mcp now once you are done there are a few things that you still need to do once you go down install the blender add-on download the add-on.py file from this repo so in this repo they have mentioned a py file here add-on.py so as you can see on my screen i have opened up blender once you have a, uh, able to add mcp server config to cloud click on files click on edit go to preferences and here you from the top right you need to click on install from disk once you click on install from disk, the add-on.py you need to select and that way you should be able to see blender mcp on my screen as you can see right now once this is done you need to press n and here you can see that it opens up a screen blender mcp you need to tick on everything and start the mcp server so there are a couple of things you need to do first of all you need to using blender mcp you need to add the blender config in cloud config.json then you need to install blender and add that add-on.py file and then turn on the mcp server this, i have already covered everything in quite some detail you can check out the video if you have any confusion and the third step how to enable mcp servers on chat gpt with the help of mcp super assistant if you have been following this channel we have covered this repo multiple times now you need to first of all add this chrome extension and later on just need to run one command this that's it npx this line and config and in the config you need to pass out cloud json that we have just now edited its full path here as you can see on my screen npx the command and the full path of the cloud json file see users data app data this is for me you can be different for you and once done you should be able to see initializing mcp super assistant proxy once this is done you should be able to see the blender mcp and the blue mcp button in your chat gpt and now you can use blender with chat gpt i hope this was useful and you try out creating cool graphics thank you so much